Akwa FM Radio FM 99.0. I won't uh, give you his name because I want him to I want him to be the one to introduce himself. Good uh, good afternoon sir and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very very much. Thank you. Thank you very very much uh, Raymond. Uh, my name is uh, Mutani. Uh, birth name Tani Desmond Awa with the artist name Mutani and I'm a poet and a spoken word artist in Bamenda, Cameroon. You are welcome to Abakwa FM Radio. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here and thank you for having me. So what brought you here today? Uh, what brought me here today is simple. Um, we have decided as poets, uh, poet and spoken word artists in the country to add our voice to raise awareness about uh, gender-based violence to raise awareness about gender-based violence and not just raise awareness about gender-based violence but also to act to give something that those who have been victims or survivors of gender-based violence can use as a healing pill because some of them are going through a lot of trauma so we decided to give them something that they can be able to use it to help them to help them also overcome the trauma that they might have gone through mm, that's interesting because it's not just talking about gbv it's actually looking for a way forward. Yes. How can people who are survivors of GBV, how can they, they, they live a normal life? How can they integrate themselves back into the society? Very true. Very, very important. So um, now you, you, you have some very, very interesting points which you've come, you, you've actually produced, you have, you've actually prepared for, for us. Let me start by asking you, what inspired uh, 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 the, um, I, I see EP here. What, 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 what EP? EP, they say it's, it's an ex, they call it extended play. Extended that means play. it's it's an it's a, a collection of me. It can be music, it can be poetry. That is less than thirty minutes. Okay, it's less than thirty minutes. We call it an EP. When so, it's above thirty minutes, we call it an album. Okay, so what what inspired you? Okay, uh, I was doing voiceover for my personal coach and trainer, one of his scripts during the coronavirus. Uh, when the coronavirus was really was really ravaging the world. He was doing a script on uh, the effect of coronavirus on the home. And uh, I, 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 when I was doing that voiceover, uh, we got to realize that most of the violence was taking place in the home at that time since people could not go out. Mm -hmm. Most of uh, gender-based uh, domestic violence was taking place in the home. Then we also got to realize that in that script, what happened is when there is a squabble between mama and papa, they, they, the, 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 since they are both adults and there are times where they cannot uh, like hit on each other, they always transfer it to the kids. And in most cases in that time, the kids then copy it because they believe mama and papa loves them so much. Mm -hmm. So when mama and papa are exhibiting the violence on the children, the children interpret it as love. And then they feel like that's the best way to show love. So most of them grow up and decide to say, okay, this is how I was shown love. So this is how I will show love. And the long run, the circle of uh, domestic violence or gender-based violence starts keep continuing. So it is when I was doing the voice of that script that we got to realize that gender-based violence has, we we're looking at it from the perspective of its origin, mm -hmm. of, of its origin. You are in a home, mama and papa are in a home with kids. What happens? You look at mama, mama and papa might have a problem. They might even separate. But when they separate, what happens? The mother starts looking at the boy child and he's seeing the father <laughs> and start exhibiting violence on that child mm -hmm. because he's seeing the father, because of the sins of the father. Then the child being as young as most of them are, will see that and say, okay, because they say my parents love me. If mama is doing this to me, then mama is doing it because she loves me. Then that means this is how love is to be shown. Mm -hmm. So when they grow up too, they start exhibiting that same thing on their own family. Papa will look at the girl child and see the mother. And he will start exhibiting, he will start transferring the aggressions or the anger he had for the mother on the girl child. And that makes the girl child to grow up either hating the male, the male gender and whatever you do, they become aggressive. And when they become aggressive, what happens? It spurs the gender-based violence and it keeps, in, it keeps the circle going on. Okay. I, I want us to get one of uh, those uh, productions so that uh, as we move forward, people will actually understand what we are doing here. Let us move, let us go to Asongwe Emmanuel, who is at the, at the panel mixer there. Uh, let him give us one of those uh, productions. It's him who is the problem. 
for objectifying your humanity, for playing with your sincerity, for devouring your purity in the name of anxiety to please his animality. Let no man determine what you should be wearing. Your being should not be the basis for his killing. message to people who are not man enough who, who, who cannot see a lady and say baby how i mean you rather use force on her and they think you are man enough you are not man enough hope i'm on track yes no you are the, the, the beautiful thing about this piece is that um, it's the challenge is that when 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 especially a lady is raped mm -hmm. the first people to criticize her is her fellow woman yeah they start criticizing her based on character, based on dressing, so or based on location. Kept. Yes, they start criticizing. Mm -hmm. That means they just start giving a good reason why what was done to her mm -hmm. was being done. Yeah. Meanwhile, that's not how it's supposed to be. There is no good reason for doing a wrong thing. Mm -hmm. When someone has done a wrong thing, let's say it is wrong, before we start analyzing. Let's not say it is he did this because of this right reason, yeah. so he should continue doing it. Mm -hmm. So this is a case where a child has been raped. And the first person to criticize and condemn and even say they should have even done more was, is the mother. And the child is crying. So this other actor comes in to make them understand that it, it's not, it's, it does not matter what you were, it's not where you met, but it's about the interpretation that the guy did. And it's the guy that is wrong. Because most GBV victims don't speak out. Yeah. Why? Because they feel like they did something wrong mm -hmm. for what happened to them. So they should keep it to themselves. So what we are saying here in this is that there is no good reason for doing a wrong thing and we are telling them that even though you have been a victim of rape or uh, verbal or gender-based violence no matter which one that is not the end of your life you can still get up and put your oppressor to shame exactly uh, it's really and uh, the, the, these are words of encouragement because as we speak there are a lot of people who've suffered gbv and the things we see here I want to believe that those things will go a long way to help them out I mean, whatever trauma they are going through is going to help. No, you're very right. I have, a, I have a very close friend who was raped until she became pregnant. And uh, till today, she has never spoken to anybody. I was the only person she was privileged to tell me. Mm -hmm. Why? Because she feels like, because I met that guy in an enclosed space, then I did something wrong. So even if I tell anybody about it, they will still blame me. Yeah, they'll say, what were you doing then in the first yes. place and all those things? So it gives reason for, for boys to keep doing it day in, day out, day in, day out. Okay. Um, now, how was it easy, uh, how, how easy was it, you know, to realize what you just, uh, uh, I mean, this package? <laughs> it took us close to four months, close to four, between four and six months to be able to realize this. Because first of all, we had to do a lot of research mm -hmm. to find out, uh, to find out, uh, the challenges that people go through and why they keep some keep enduring the enduring the cases of domestic violence, keep enduring the cases of verbal violence, so that we could able to be we were able so that we should be able to write something that is backed by research. Mm -hmm. So it took us that time. Then after that, it also took us some time to be able to find a sound engineer that will be able to bring out the emotions, not just in the words, but in the instrumentals. Mm -hmm. It took us a lot of time because, uh, and finally we found a person, we found Ring Rui Charles of uh, Hilltop Music Academy, who could be able to produce the sound that will be able to give the emotions to the tracks. Okay. After that, we also had to get our own artists here in the Northwest. Let's complement it. What is already trending and what is already people are already used to is, is music. So let's get some artists involved. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, Zeta Light, our own Afro gospel spiritual artist, was part of it. And then we had Jack Lois who came into the project. Then the next thing now was the recording. We did the recording. And then at the end, we were asking ourselves, let it not just be me, Motani the poet, talking about it. Why don't we get other poets involved? So we gave an open call for poets in the Northwest. We wanted to work with poets in the Northwest such that it would be easy and convenient to meet. So we've made an open call. Some of the poets came in. We have on that album, we have Nubia Nabila, which is spoken word poets too. Mm -hmm. We have Yeka Desmond, we have Atemke Victor, and uh, a couple of others who are poets. And others took part in the writing. Okay. It was written, most of the poems were written by Tani Di Awa uh, Koshlanjo here, and also uh, Asongafa Marie Therese, the another girl too, who could give us the female perspective of things. So we did the recording of the, of the, of the album. Then 
after the recording and as the sound engineer was working fortunately or unfortunately his machine crashed and everything <laughs> got lost and that's why it took us a lot of time yeah. everything got lost maybe the machine crashed because maybe need to want you to 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 do some uh, you know do better some, yeah i, think I mean do better exactly because once you do things over and over you become better with it mm -hmm. because when the when the machine crashed and everything got lost and uh, we were so devastated coach lanjo always tells us that all thing happen no but anything that happened on a particular reason exactly. so now when the machine got crashed and then the dj had to start from scratch the sound had to start from scratch the instrumentals he produced this time were better off mm -hmm. than what was there <laughs> then when it came to recording the spirit that was in that the spirit that we recorded was better than before so you can now understand why <laughs> what happened actually happened <laughs> so that is how it made that, that's how it happened and at the end he finally recorded finally recorded then he did the mixing and the mastering gave the first copy we listened sent to others they gave their corrections and here we are and finally one day uh coach lanjo and the sound engineer because he's a personal coach and the artistic director for the project he then told me that okay this thing is okay to go public and i was so happy and here we are okay i mean i, I must confess that i just i've listened to, i've listened to just one of them okay and it, it's very interesting and i want to believe that uh, the rest are like you know in fact you just you need to get it you need to, we'll soon tell you how you can you can you can get access uh, to uh, those beautiful points. Yeah. Now, um, I, I understand that um, uh, what you're doing is not is not is it, it's not a common way to communicate. True. I mean, I'm talking about poetry, True. especially in our own local setup here. Poetry is not really something that is easy to That's actually uh, uh, use to communicate uh, 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 to people. So, why choose po poetry? Raymond, I will tell you that if I was a musician, I would have sung it right if i was a painter i would have painted it mm -hmm. if i was a dancer i would have danced it but when the inspiration came especially the inspiration went to an eclipse when the, when this nigerian gospel artist died because of domestic violence when that inspiration came i asked myself what was the best way to communicate this and i always believe that the best way you can get to others is to use what you are good at and to use what you're passionate at and what i'm good at and i know i'm good at is poetry so I had to use poetry. I had to use poetry, but I had to get other other forms of art, music, and also uh, get the artists, the other artists to join me so that we can amplify the voice because the goal is to sensitize, the goal is to cause healing, and the goal is to conscientize our population to know that we are all human and we should not mete out violence to other people or to ourselves. Exactly, they say do unto others what you would want them do unto you. Another, another beautiful part of that, speech, that saying that you're saying, I think that's the last phrase in this album, the ah, feedback. Okay. <laughs> it says, don't treat people the way you want them to be treated or the way they deserve to be treated. Treat them better mm -hmm. than you would like to be treated. Exactly. Treat them better than they even deserve. Yeah. I think that's the last part. Mm. Because if you feel like it's because a girl is wearing a short skirt that you have to rape her, then you're not treating them better than you would like to be treated. Mm -hmm. So treat them not because they deserve to be treated better but treat them better than you want to be treated okay. that's beautiful it means it means my my way my, my, my thought yeah are not I far agree. from uh, what is actually you know when, when you are also in the fight against gbv you, you, you see yourself <laughs> flowing in the whole thing yeah I, I must i must thank you for this initiative i must thank you for that i want to believe that you get sponsors because there are people out there who really want to see this thing come to an end but they need something that is tangible. That's true. They need something that is new. That's true. Fresh. Something that has never been done before. That's true. And I want to believe that what you what you've just done and what you are still planning to do is exactly what these people have been looking for. Uh, so far it's been amazing. So far I'm very grateful to the population of the Northwest and also the NGOs and even the media houses mm -hmm. that are already picking it. Imagine yesterday I, get a, I got a call from the West Region and they wanted an interview for the project. They wanted to listen to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm so happy with the, the reception. And as you said, we are trying our best to make sure that we make our community a better place. Beautiful. I want us to listen to one more. One more. And then we'll come, when we come back, we are going to round up. Stay tuned. <laughs> It 
wasn't about what you wore. That most times, any human being that is causing pain on another human being deliberately is also sick. Mm -hmm. If you are deliberately causing pain on another human being, you are sick. And sometimes you are possessed. Yeah. So this one is like the person was possessed after carrying out the act, and then when he was he had when he was done with the trap. What happens now is he starts hearing a lady crying mm -hmm. and he's asking himself, why is this lady crying? Why? And then he's trying to help the lady and the lady is still running. You understand? He's trying to help the lady, the lady is still running. Then it is at that point that he dawned on him. And then he started looking at himself and he's asking himself, why are my trousers down? And then why is there blood on the lady's body and everything? Then that, at that moment now it dawned on him that he has actually raped this girl. Mm -hmm. He has actually raped this girl. And then he's trying now to plead with the girl that, okay, there is no good reason for what I have just done. We are, I am pleading with you to not let me go loose. Try as much as possible to make sure that I am contained or I am stopped so that I don't continue doing this to other people. Okay. Yeah, help me. He's pleading with the girl to actually help me, to actually help him mm -hmm. after he has committed that act. Now, when you keep being silent, what happens? I keep on continuing doing yeah. it from one person to another. So please help me. That's why speaking out is very important. Yes. Right. So um, we are just coming back from another point, point there. Very interesting one, still talking about how we can tackle GBV. Now, I, I'm sure people are listening and they're asking, how can I lay hands on these um, points? So, I mean, how can people access this? All right, uh, thank you so much. Uh, you can get the, the album, uh, those who are, who are tech savvy, you can get it online on uh, www.enowdigital.com. Enowdigital.com. Enow is E N O W. And uh, you can pay by Momo, you can pay with a Visa card, you can pay with your bank card, it depends on what you want to use. And uh, all over the world, you can get it on uh, bandcamp.com where you can pay with it, whatever means Bitcoin, you can also get it. And uh, you can also get to me, get to me, because I know a lot of people might not be tech savvy to be able to buy online. Mm -hmm. You can also get to me through the numbers uh, 699-444-555 or 695-614-947. I take the numbers again, 699-444-555 or 695-614. 947 or why not write me on an email uh, desmonddestiny at gmail.com desmonddestiny at gmail.com and I'll be able, we'll be able to discuss and even meet and you get the album or we can also still send it to you on WhatsApp mm -hmm. or on Telegram whatever means you want to just get to me through those numbers and you'll be able to have a copy of the album and also the ebook the album comes along with the ebook okay yes you can also get it and there are also t-shirts available for pre-order Unfortunately, you came without bringing us. So you're owing us t-shirts. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you're owing us t-shirts. All right. So after after these, what else? What other things have you in the pipeline as far as this particular uh, fight against GBV is concerned? We have been on. First of all, after this tour, we are planning to do the official on-site launch. Okay. Yes, we are planning also to do an online launch where we are going to be able to get all those involved with GBV, uh, be it here, Cameroon and the world, so that they can have a listening party and listen to the album. And let's share how is it that we can fight these things without necessarily uh, depending on the law. Because the law is good, quite all right, but a lot of people don't have access. Mm -hmm. So how do we fight it? How do we get to make people understand that we are human? So it's for the purpose that everybody whether here or in Cameroon or out of the world can contribute. Then we are also planning to pay a visit to the gender-based violence advocate NGOs here first in the north, in Bamenda Central, then in the Northwest region, so that we can listen, have a discussion, and see how we can fight these things in our own little way. I always say sustainable solutions are community-based solutions. So let's see how we can be able to curb down or why not stop this gender-based violence. So we'll have discussions with the NGOs who are fighting it. And also we are going to do we are going to do a concert. I think I've spoken already about it. we are going to do the concert. And if possible, we'll have a follow, we can still have a follow-up project that continues with this. More poems and more uh, more poems on gender-based violence so that those who are not 
listening to music because our musicians are doing a lot to fight it our painters are doing a lot to fight it those who don't get it might be poetry okay. yes all right thank you very much uh desmond destiny <laughs> in fact you, you, you I, I i must appreciate you for for coming and i want to believe that uh, i've learned a lot i uh, i never had it in fact I, I never knew that we could also tackle gbv using poems you know to tackle gbv and listening to it you know like 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 we listen to music it sings That's true. and it keeps you know you keep hearing it which is very important so thank you very much uh, uh, for coming and uh, I'm, I'm sure you've not yet set a date for the for the on on-site launch the moment that is done we are going to communicate to our listeners uh coach has been here okay you want to add something yes i wanted to just say uh thank you very much to abakwa fm radio for having me thank you raymond for having me thank you to our dj too for making sure the sound goes out there then thank you to my personal coach and trainer lanjo sidonus ninde for for being with me throughout this project and for always being there all right i i was about saying that he's been here doing something very important even though you do not get his voice but he <laughs> participated live uh, with, with other things there, there are, they, you, if you watch us anyway it's thanks to him yes all right so let us also thank our uh, somewhere emmanuel who gave us technical support like you've just done Young Abi Pipitua kept the books for us. I have been Dingana Raymond, thanking you all. Special good afternoon greetings to all soldiers of GBV. I mean those who are fighting against GBV. They know themselves. And to those who think that they have money and they can always twist the law. <laughs> you have something big coming your way. Like a storm that will sweep you before you understand what is actually happening. Trust me when I say this. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Voilà, that was good.